Hey, what's up, everybody? Agamats here today. Today, I'm going to be talking about my giant ass Cero Materieta build. So, uh, for starters, this is how big it is. And, uh, it is pretty wide and pretty massive. It, it would have like hit the dude up there as well. And um, basically, the point of this build is to basically do as much damage as I can before getting hit. And I'll explain a little bit of that later. But essentially, um, this build has basically the talent where, like, if you have full health, your matches do 25% more damage, and you have full ether, your like M1s or whatever do more damage. I think that's also 25%. So the whole idea of this goal is, or the whole idea of this build is to basically spam my Sailor Metarieta such a short run on this, and then get my ether back by using moves. I get ether back by using moves. Moves. That is right. And once I'm back to full, you can see I'm already back to you know, the ether. I use another shot of Metalieta, and then bam. And this is not even accounting for the ether I get when I steal their ether. This is just me using the damn move. As you can see, I'm just getting ether back on all of my shits. And that's because I placed blue jumps on every single one of these. So it's pretty, it's like actually pretty powerful. Here are my stats if you guys are interested. I basically decided I want to get a lot of Charisma, Willpower, Intelligence because these all increase Ether and Reservoir. And um, basically the goal was to try and like get the Charm Casting skills, which I did, which basically makes me do more damage to them and them do less damage to me. So not only can I like pop a Sing, which will probably make them take like 10 or 15% more damage, I don't know what it is, but when I multiply that with the fact that I'm full health, my Shadow Guns are probably doing like 20%, 10% to a dude who's like a max build if all these like, you know, stacks apply these damage multiple flyers and shit like that so uh, it does do quite a bit of damage especially because my shadow gun shadow meteor and shadow Saw are all level five they're going to do a crap ton of damage now realistically if i wanted to i could have put 100 into just shadow and then gotten like a hero sword but i really like shattered katana and um i kind of didn't really care about these other stats i mean it could have been nice to get more health or like you know more agility but i don't really need those that much because i have the talent where if i dodge something it gives me the little like shadow dodge animation that like you know basically makes me dodge at things for a few seconds i also have shadow travel pretty useful for just like getting around and stuff like this um very useful if i need to like to scale up a high wall because i don't have agility and shit like that and then my mobility moves are mostly covered by my shadow assault and shadow travel so all in all basically the idea is just to keep on having like max ether and this build is really really powerful when you fight multiple people at once because the shadow gun is always going to be hitting like three or four people if they're like trying to 1v5 you like it always hits at least like a couple of them and you get all your ether back it doesn't even matter honestly um yeah that's basically the entire build i didn't even really cover potions like that because i don't really use them anymore but if you want to you can just get like a bunch of potions as well and like basically never die uh you don't even have to m1 with this build to be honest you can just like spell fan and most of the time as you can see right there spell fanning i only took like 20 percent of my ether and then i can just get it back by using like a that's cool and that'll really be all for this build guys um thanks for watching